Okay, for this part, you want your Z motors. Now, if you've got the coupler, then you just get the coupler, put the set screws into the motor shaft, put the rod on, put the set screws into the rod. Can't really show it because I don't have it. You need uh, 14 1033 screws, and you need the two Z nuts. Okay, first thing that we're going to do, clean the Z rods. From the factory, they come with machining oil on them, all kinds of other nasty stuff. Just stuff that is not going to uh, apparently so you can get jams. I mean, some people have been fine, but I'm going to clean these to Kingdom Come. Just using isopropyl alcohol here. Now, see I'm holding these upside down, so when I clean them, um, it doesn't get any of my solvent into the motor. You just, you don't want that. I'm actually going through holding my fingernail in the threads. Uh, it probably, it's probably overkill, but I'm just going to be better safe than sorry. So I'm switching to a toothbrush to get down in the threads. Should make my life so much easier. So I'm just using a microfiber cloth here to just get down in the threads because it doesn't leave any fibers on them, but it really gets down in there. Like, especially this kind of fluffy type. Just really, I don't have to go through the effort of getting my fingernail into every single thread. And also, any kind of burrs on the thread, you would definitely be able to feel with the microfiber. Like it really, you know, it lightly feels on that. If there was burrs on here, oh, it would definitely catch. Now, don't forget to clean the Z nuts too. Now, now's the time to select your lubricant of choice. Uh, I'm going to be using Super Lube. It's a silicon PTFE based grease. You can also get this in an oil form. I just happen to get the grease. It's kind of hard to get in Australia, so um, I'm going to settle with what I have. Um, you can also use a 3-in-1 oil I used before. Um, personally, I'm just a bigger fan of putting grease on threads. Um, not such a big fan of using oil on threads. Um, I mean, you can do it. I just find that the oil tends to walk down the thread. Um, you know, and, uh, anyway, it gets messy. Um, probably use a bit much grease there. So, I'm just going to wipe off the excess. Now I'm just going to run this nut down. Take your bot and I'm just going to tip it on its side, like so. Now with the wires for these facing towards the outside, each side, I'm just going to slide that up to its full extent. Slide these through there, like so, and then into there. Screw the motors onto the mounts using 1033s. So, I'm just going to take these nuts, wind them to the bottom, just leave them at the bottom. Just don't do what I did. Okay, now the bottom is the most likely spot for these to bind. So, as you can see, this one is already actually touching this side. Um, so, I'm going to pull that across. Now, what I want to do is get it. So these just naturally kind of sit on their respective Z nut. So this side is fine. Sitting bang on its respective Z nut. This side is not. Okay, so I'm going to get down here and I can see that. Yeah, it's stopping this. Okay, so this needs. Just come, oh, cool, that's a little bit tight. Just a little bit more outwards. 
you know, it's actually touching the Z limit switch. So I'm just going to bring these up. See, they're both just perfectly slipping over the respective nut, which means they're in a good position. So, just going to flip this forward once more. Slide this to the top. Just one of these nuts at the top to get it out of the way, so I can do some uh, heated bed assembly. The other thing this does is it uh, levels both sides. With these like this, the extruder is now level. So I'm referencing it off the frame, and that's a good way to do it. So I'm just going to get the holes lined up here, and then drive in my 103 trees. Push them against the top there, just finger tight. Back up, last time. Okay, now we've got some space to do our heater bed assembly. Check out my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe.